When a customer brings a piece of art into us here at Casco Bay Frames and Gallery, it is often very valuable to them. One thing we want to make sure we do is make that piece of art look better and at the same time preserve it in a manner that will give them many years of enjoyment for the future. Custom framing is taking your artwork and using our matting and framing to make that into a presentable piece, make it look better. And in addition to that, we do archival framing here and use archival processes to make it, protect it, and make it last a lifetime. Three real important things when we custom frame something in order to protect it is one is to use a UV filtering glazing, and two is to keep the glass or plexiglass away from the artwork, and third is to use an acid-free backing to protect it from the back. And there are a couple ways to keep the artwork from the glass. Uh, one is the matting. It produces about a 16th inch airspace. And the second is to use an acrylic spacer which we put underneath the lip of the frame. That's invisible to the eye, but that does create that airspace of about an eighth of an inch to keep the glass away from your artwork. There are a few different types of glass we use. Uh, my favorite is a thing called museum glass. It has great anti-glare properties and also protects 99% of harmful UV rays. Another glass we use is called Conservation Clear. It is clear to the eye. It does have some glare, but it also has uh, great UV filtering properties. And uh, often in some settings where we're worried about breakage or weight, we'll use plexiglass. And plexiglass is clear to the eye. It's much lighter, as I said. You don't have to worry about breaking, and it does come in both non-glare properties and UV filtering properties. Once we're done with our part of the process, there's a couple things customers should consider when they get their artwork home. One is not to keep it in direct sunlight. Even though the glass or plexiglass will give you 99% UV protection, you want to keep it out of direct sunlight. Just like any piece of furniture, it will fade over time. And the second thing is to try to keep it in a room that doesn't have a lot of fluctuation in humidity. A lot of things I'll tell my customers if they're closing their house up for the winter is to take any expensive, valuable artwork with them in a place that will be heated year-round.